Oh, I love that move. <laughs> That's so cool. Welcome back, friends. Jungkook of BTS just performed his brand new song, Seven, live on Inkigayo. And make sure to stick around to the end of the video because I heard that we get a special guest performance from V of BTS as well. Now, I'm super excited to be diving into this one because I just finished watching the recording film for Seven over on my Patreon, and it was so cool getting an inside look into Jungkook performing this song and working on it in studio with an amazing production team. So if you want to check that out, there's a link in my Patreon down below that will take you right over to that video so you can watch it right after this one. But I'm so excited for this performance. Inkigayo performances just have this special element to them. They really embrace everything that is K-pop, so I'm so excited for this one. So let's throw on the headphones and dive right into this song from Jungkook. Here we go. Wow, look at the aesthetic off the top. Oh yeah. JK and the backup dancers. Look at that cheeky smile from him. Oh yeah. Oh, the choreo is sick. Yeah. Oh, I love it. I love that right there. It's a big choreo spot, and so Jungkook can pull off the vocals, and the backing track really carries him. Now, there is some backing vocals mixed in here, which is very, very common, especially on Inkigayo performances, and it just allows Jungkook a little more freedom to move around on stage and do the choreo. If you think of him in BTS, uh, he wasn't singing all the time, but still doing choreo nonstop. So this kind of puts him back in his element of when he performed in BTS, although it's a totally different setup, him performing solo. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, this song. Wow, he moves so good. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love that move. <laughs> That's so cool. Ah, oh, again. <laughs> he crushes that part. Another example of where he can let the backing track fill in some space so that he can do these full arm movements and not have to worry about holding that microphone to his face. I love it. Normally, I'm not a big fan of singers pulling off the mic, uh, but when you're doing it for, to emphasize the choreo and the body movements, I think that is so awesome. Let's go back and see that one more time. Yeah, that move. Uh, right into these awesome vocals. Man. Oh. That falsetto. Yeah. <laughs> Some Michael Jackson moves. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Did they cut out the feature? Oh. Oh, no, here it is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wrap it, JK. Oh, this is so cool. This is one of my favorite parts about features and songs is obviously the artist can't perform with the featured artist every single time or maybe it never even happened. So it's so cool that Jungkook can like freestyle, do a little bit of choreo in here. But also we get to hear him rapping, which is something we don't get to hear a lot of from Jungkook. We got a little bit in BTS and in the earlier days, but it's so cool to hear him just hop on the mic and rap because this is one part of his vocal that he's so good at, but we just never get to hear. So I love hearing him bust out a rap every now and then. Yeah, <laughs> so good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I've never seen the audience in a shop before. Check this out here. 
I always thought this was like a massive arena, but like it's actually quite a small studio. They have a huge stage, but like in terms of audience size, it's actually really, really small. This is so cool to see kind of like a behind the scenes look of what Jungkook gets to see. There's not a lot of crowd there, but the crowd chants are still so loud. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, crushing those ad libs. Oh, yeah. Oh, some confetti into the falsetto. <laughs> Oh uh, man, one thing I noticed in the recording film was Jungkook talking about performing this song live. And when he heard this song, he could picture himself performing it as like an American pop artist. And so to see him be able to perform this song live after watching that recording film is just so cool because I know it means so much to him. And this is really the beginning of him entering this new chapter, this solo chapter of Jungkook's solo music, which I think is so awesome. Again, if you do want to watch that recording film, it's linked in the description down below. It was so awesome. It was, I could have done more than just the 16 minute video. I could have done a full hour of that. Let's continue on. Wow, oh, that cheeky smile. Damn, he crushed it. All right, we got to find this V feature because I've seen this all over YouTube. So I want to see what Jungkook performing with V looks like. I think he just snuck on stage, but let's dive into that right before a word from today's video sponsor, DistroKid. Are you a musical artist and always wondered how you can get your music on Spotify? Well, it's actually a lot easier than you think with the help of DistroKid. DistroKid is an online music distributor that helps get your music onto all the major streaming platforms like Spotify and Apple Music. I personally have been using DistroKid for five years years now to get my music onto Spotify and all the major streaming platforms, and they've helped me and my band get hundreds of thousands of streams on our songs. The process is incredibly simple. All you have to do is upload your song to DistroKid and they will take care of all of the work for you. It seriously only takes about five minutes to do, and within a couple days, your songs will be on Spotify, Apple Music, and all the major streaming platforms. And right now, you can take advantage of my affiliate link and get 7% off your first year of DistroKid in the description down below. DistroKid has made my music journey so so much easier and help get my music into the hands of the right people. So I would 100% recommend signing up for DistroKid and start getting your music out there because in my opinion, this is the first step you need to take as an artist. So if you do want to sign up for DistroKid and save 7% off your first year, make sure to use my link in the description down below and start getting your music heard by more people today. But let's continue on with this reaction video. <sighs> okay, here's V sneaking onto stage. I think he's in the stripes behind Jungkook. Does JK even know that he's on stage? Oh yeah, oh, noticed. <laughs> I love that V, like, he looks like he knows the choreo here too. Oh yeah, Jungkook calls him up, no way. Counts him in. Oh yeah, and they're crushing it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> A little BTS reunion in the midst of Jungkook's solo music. That's so awesome. Okay, was this during the encore? I saw that there was also an encore performance, so I want to check that out. Let's see V crush this one more time. Dang, V's become such a good dancer. You can tell he's definitely been working on his dance moves. I remember seeing that in In The Soup Season 2. He was talking about wanting to perfect his dance skills. But let's check out the encore performance from Jungkook. All right, I think this is just after he won the award. Wow. Just an, a candid off-script performance. Oh, this is so cool. I've never seen this before. I didn't know that they did this for award winners. Aw, oh, Jungkook's so sweet. Thanking all the other artists. Oh, let's run off these subtitles. <laughs> oh, and the backup dancers come out. No way. Everybody's trying to figure out where they are in the song. It seems like they just started playing it. <laughs> oh yeah, that move from JK is awesome. Here we go again. 
Ah, that move is actually very J-Hope in my mind. That's something that I could see him just doing. And obviously, this seems to be a big BTS reunion, V-hopping on stage. So it's so cool that they like draw inspiration from each other. And obviously, seeing V like knowing the dance for this song, they've like worked on it together and like studied it with each other. And I'm sure uh, Jungkook uh, has talked to all the members about the song and about the choreo for it all. So it's cool to see like, I feel like that's a very J-Hope move. Oh, no backing track, too. Just JK's vocal. Oh, oh man, he crushes that vocal. Okay, this is a perfect example of why I love singers using backing tracks, especially when they're pulling off for choreography. When Jungkook pulls off the mic here, you don't hear the backing track and you kind of lose sense of where you are in the song. So it's nice having that vocal just blended in very lightly. Tell pick up those parts when he's going to pull off the mic, as you can tell from here. They're just, just playing the instrumental. Oh, wow, he sounds so good. Those falsettos. Oh, is he going to do the full rap now? It's not going to be in the track, is it? Oh, those moves. <laughs> nice. It's funny. So I'm not saying that Jungkook doesn't know the full rap, but obviously it's in English, so he might not. But he's just so used to performing this song and practicing it uh, without doing the rap part. So you can tell he's doing the exact same choreography and like it's becoming muscle memory at this point for him. So he's just used to singing like or rapping the few parts that he's used to doing during the performance. Wow. Dang, he's good. Oh. I love hearing him rap. I want more JK rapping. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that ad lib. <laughs> Dang. That was so cool to see. I absolutely love that. Oh, man. And then everybody freezes. <laughs> ah, that's so cool. Guys, as I mentioned, I just watched the recording film over on my Patreon. If you want to check that out, it's linked in the description down below. It was so amazing hearing from Jungkook and just getting to see a different side of him and seeing him work with American music producers in Los Angeles on this song. And in addition to that, uh, I just started vlogging over on my second channel, Cody's Life. I've been vlogging my entire experience taking up van life. This is just a green screen behind me, as you can see. Um, and so I'm shooting videos here in my truck while traveling across Canada. And I just posted my very first vlog and there are weekly vlogs to come. So I'll show you a short clip from that vlog right now. The view is absolutely absolutely gorgeous. It was well worth it. It was only like 45 minutes to the top. Um, not too steep. There's a nice little trail and yeah, yeah check out this view. So if you do want to check that out, I've also linked that in the description down below, or you can watch it right up here. Um, it'd be so cool if you want to follow along with my journey. I really show a different side of myself um, and just what I do on my day-to-day -day activities out here traveling across Canada, living in a truck. So if you want to see that, it'd be so cool if you came and followed along that journey with me as well. But this was such an awesome performance. I absolutely loved it. I hope you guys did too as well. And I can't wait for some more Jump Cook. Um, as soon as he drops some new music, you know I'll be doing it right here on the channel. So make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss out. The next time I post a brand new Jungkook reaction video just like this one. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this one a ton. And until the next time, make sure you have a great rest of your day. Peace. I wanna